thought it would be helpful um, just again to walk through and examples are always helpful to kind of put everything into perspective. Um, our first example is we're looking at and going back to the asset holding company scenario. We have an entity with a larger concentration in marketable securities, so more liquid assets compared to non-liquid real estate. Again, in general, <clears throat> higher liquidity of assets equals a lower overall discount from net asset value. Um, net asset value is um, simply defined as the fair market value of the company's assets minus any liabilities. So we've got a um, ABC LLC owns about $18 million of liquid assets, um, a small $2 million investment in real estate to get to our, our $20 million of net asset value. On the right, we've gone through our, our approaches, you know, looking at minority level of cash flow under the income approach and the market approach. Um, we've applied a 15% DLOM to compute the fair market value on a non-control, non-marketable basis of about 15 million. So comparing that 15 million after discount value to the 20 million net asset value, um, in the end, we have an overall discount of 25 million or 25% on our $20 million fair market value of assets. So keep that in mind as we, as we go through the next scenario on XYZ asset holding company. This one has the larger concentration in the non-liquid real estate in comparison to the smaller, more liquid marketable securities. So in general, the lower liquidity of the assets would equal the higher overall discount from net asset value. So we do have the same $20 million net asset value amount but our asset composition is, is quite different. So we've got the 23 and a half million of the non-current assets, um, very little cash, and then we do have some, some debt associated with those, those fixed assets in, in the land. So 20 million net asset value, we've gone through our same income approach, market approach on the right, and looking at our minority level of earnings and cash flow applying a 22% DVOM. So we arrive at a fair market value on a non-control, non-marketable basis, um, just shy of 11 million. But again, comparing that to our 20 million net asset value, we have the ability to support a higher overall discount from net asset value of 46%. So going back, um, remembering we've got our more liquid assets with the lower overall discount of 25% compared to the higher 46%. Um, so again, just, just things to think about as you're going through your planning, you know, the type of assets that are being contributed to the asset holding companies do make a, a difference in the end on the ability to support some higher discounts. <clears throat> 